Welcome to our video about Decipher Backup Repair. Let's start by taking a look at what Decipher Backup Repair is for. So while trying to restore your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch from a backup, you might see this error message saying that you can't restore the backup because the backup was corrupt or not compatible. You might also see the error messages that iTunes couldn't restore the backup because the phone disconnected or because an unknown error occurred. All of these are sort of generic messages that are saying the phone's rejecting the backup for some reason. So let's look at how Decipher Backup Repair helps get rid of this message. So when you first open Decipher Backup Repair, you're going to see a little bit of introduction and talking about how the program works and how to contact us and stuff like that. After you hit Next, Decipher Backup Repair is going to show you a list of the backups that are available to repair. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a backup uh, of an iPad as an example. So after you select the backup, we're going to do a very shallow scan of the backup to try to show you some of the structural errors that we found with the backup that might be causing it to be rejected from the device. In this case, there's some files missing, and there's also some problem with the encryption because this is an encrypted backup. So after that, we're going to click Repair to start doing some of the work to actually clone the backup and do a little bit of fixes to the structural problems. So in my case, since it's an encrypted backup, the program's gonna prompt me with an option to enter my backup password. And the backup password stays on your computer, it doesn't get sent to us, we don't want it, we don't wanna see it, uh, and it's optional. And what this is gonna do is do some checks, some structural checks in the event that maybe you've changed your backup password lately, it's gonna look for the problems that are associated with that. So I'm gonna enter my backup password and press OK. Uh, and now it's going through and looking through the entire structure of the backup and fixing some of the glitches that, uh, that happened there. And it's showing that there was some problems with the encryption. And if I go all the way down, because there was a lot of encryption problems here, uh, we'll also see that there was a missing file and I had to clean up the structural problems that were referencing that missing file. Uh, in the event that you actually have other backups of the same device, depending on the circumstances, we try to look for replacements uh, with the same date and timestamp and all that kind of stuff. So that if we can find the information that's broken, we're gonna try to find it as best we can. So after that, you click Next. Uh, if you're using the free trial of the program, it's gonna prompt you there for the license code, and then it's gonna do some finalization and finishing up uh, to the repair so that you can restore in iTunes. And I'm gonna plug back in a device to show you one more thing. So we keep your original backup intact with the Cypher Backup Repair, uh, and instead work on a clone of your backup because you know we don't wanna lose your original. So when you go to restore, there's a little drop down menu here and you wanna choose the backup that's now labeled Decipher Repaired. And that's our clone that we've done all the work to so that it should be able to restore. So a common question that we get is, so what happens now if I still get the error? The next page of the program gives you some information about how to contact us. We definitely wanna know if the repair, if you're still having problems, because we always love finding new problems to fix and add to Decipher Backup Repair. There is one more thing that you can do though. So the other part of that original error message we saw talked about corrupt backups. And that's kind of what we think of like when your hard drive has a problem or something. When you come back to the Decipher Backup Repair screen where you select the backup, under our repaired backup, there's a button that now says do advanced repairs. What this is gonna do is scan through every file in the backup and actually look for those disk problems where you actually have a corrupt file. Uh, and we do this separately because this is actually really rare, uh, maybe 5% of the backups. And you know we wanna save 95% of the people from the extra work. So if you're still having problems after the initial repair, this advanced repair is a great thing to try also. Uh, other than that, if you're still having problems, we definitely wanna hear from you so that we can help look at your backup, we'll look at the specific errors being reported by the phone and help you get your backup working. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to go to our website, www.decipheretools.com, and you can click the support button up at the top of the page and contact us via email if you have questions. Thank you.